What's going on everybody? Thanks for watching another installment of the Pug Slots in the Doghouse. We've been covering my alma mater's men's basketball team's run to the NCAA tournament, the Central Washington Wildcats. And in case you've missed it, the Central Washington University Wildcats have clinched a berth to play in the Division II playoffs, aka the NCAA Division II March Madness Tournament. Basically how the Division II a tournament is set up it's set up exactly like the Division One, with, I think, without the playing game. I'm pretty sure there's not a playing game. And uh, so there are 64 teams, and instead of having four regions, there are eight. And a place doesn't, the final destination where teams are trying to go to, they don't just host the championship game and the, and the final four. They also host elite eight games. Um, so that's how it's set up. And Central Washington, I'm happy to announce, is ranked number one in our region. Meaning, Central Washington University will host the West Regional Tournament of the NCAA March Madness Tournament. We're going to host all the games. So, Central Washington is ranked number one. We'll find, uh, here's how the rest of the rankings went, and here are the matchups. At number two, we have Cal State Dominguez Hills. They're from the California Collegiate Athletic Association. They will be playing B uh, Brigham Young University Hawaii from the Pacific uh, Pacific West Conference. Uh, BYU Hawaii is ranked seventh in the region. Number three in the region is Humboldt State. They're also from the California Collegiate Athletic Association. They are going to play the number six seed Alaska Anchorage Sea Wolves, a G Great Northwest Athletic Conference team, the team that Central had to beat in order to get the number one ranking. Next up, we have the number four Dixie Red Dixie State. Excuse me, Dixie State Red Storm. They're going to play um, the number fifth seed Chaminade University. Both schools are from the Pacific West Conference, so we'll have a uh, conference rivalry there. And then the Central Washington University Wildcats will play the eight seeded Seattle Pacific University Falcons. Both schools are from the GNAC, and they actually do have a little bit of history with each other in the playoffs. So, but I'll talk that, about that in my next video. So that's how the region, uh, that's how the uh, regional rankings fared out, the final regional rankings of the year. And the first round of the regional tournament will be in Ellensburg. All the games will be in Ellensburg. It will be on Friday. And uh, the winners will keep moving on. They will, uh, Ellensburg will host uh, games on Friday, Saturday, and on Monday. Um, so And Central, even though the top 25 rankings have not come out this year, they are ranked 10th. Um, as of right now, I have a feeling that could go up a spot, but I'm not going to get carried away. But anyway, it's going to be Central Washington versus Seattle Pacific in our first uh, tournament game in Ellensburg, Washington. So thanks very much for watching. Next video, I'll be previewing this game. Again, let's review the rankings. Number one, Central Washington is going against number eight, Seattle Pacific. Number four, Dixie State. They'll play the winner of the number four versus the number five, uh, Dixie State and Chaminade game. Number three, Humboldt State versus number six, Alaska Anchorage. And number two, Cal State Dominguez Hills against number seven, BYU Hawaii. That's how your West Regional Tournament in the Division II tournament is going to fare out. So, next video, I'll be previewing the Wildcats and Falcons. So, look out for that. And please follow me on MySpace, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are below. Thanks for watching. And uh, up next is my preview. Thank you.